wakubwa waliandama kuwagandamiza umma wakanona wadhama wanyonge wakififia nchi ikabadilika zikawa mbili tabaka kwanza walikunjika pili waliofifia this is a Swahili poem that talks about political corruption in Kenya it talks about how political leaders in Kenya were corrupt this corruption led to war in Kenya from the year 2007 to 2008 and so um, this picture of a girl she was a victim of this war this girl that you see right here she was seated in class one day she was listening to a lecture but all she could hear was screams she could hear cries she could hear gunshots she was scared but she convinced herself everything will be okay this will only last for a day but it lasted for weeks it lasted for months and it even lasted for years this girl she had to run away she had to go and live with her grandmother back in the village she ran away with her mother and her two sisters living behind her dad and her brother there was no means of communication that they they were okay or even safe or even alive on her way to her grandmother's place this girl was harassed she was harassed by men from her own tribe this man took away everything that they had this man took away all the clothes this took away this man took away all the money this took a, this man took away everything they had this girl she watched people being murdered she watched people being killed as she watched in front of her and she was only 10 she was a child so she said oh let me go back to my dad and my brother maybe everything will be okay but she was wrong everything got worse when she went back to the city they had lost their restaurant their restaurant was the only source of income that they had this restaurant provided education for this child now she could not acquire education she could not acquire the education that she needed this girl went to bed hungry night after night with no food starvation with no water or food in her stomach she suffered what was the solution to give up on life so she gave up on life because there was nothing left for her to live for anymore everything was gone nobody was there to support her but an opportunity opened up for her mom to move to the united states and after 5 years of being separated she was reunited with her mom this girl that you see here she's not the same little girl who witnessed all these murders the same little girl who was a victim of war she has transformed in a big way when you look at this girl this girl is a boston city scholar athlete this girl is an all star track member this girl she has debated in the national forensic league this girl that you see here she has debated in the boston city league as a varsity debater she is in student government she is a honor student she has accomplished more than she could imagine So I hope that this girl in this picture has served as an inspiration to all of you and I hope that I'm just challenging all of you just to walk into a Boston public school and know how how these students what they're going through and what they're hiding inside of them so today I hope that this girl has served as an inspiration to all of you and this girl right here in the picture you should not feel sorry for her because I don't because this girl is me thank you, thank you.